Ora si registrerà la conferenza. How to finance mobility projects? Uh, it's a huge topic uh, to address indeed. So um, first, of, first of all, I'd like to, to better define what kind of financing uh, we will uh, discuss today. Uh, we're talking about EU funding, uh, so financial resources uh, from the European budget. That means that uh, financing mobility projects uh, um, asks for European added value. Mobility projects with a European added value, a European dimension. Uh, even when they are projects uh, implemented at the local scale. Even when the managing authority uh, is a member state or a region, they are still uh, uh, European funding. Um, and um, this means that uh, the EU funding is a EU investment uh, planned by EU to uh, get back an added value in the end uh, to meet uh, European vision and policies. To further define the, the topic, uh, we're talking about grants, not loans, not uh, guarantees, not subsidies, grants. And grants are funded, uh, awarded following a competitive um, process, a selection, uh, awarded to uh, projects submitted in response to call for proposals. Uh, so only the, the, the very best proposals succeed. Uh, the aim of these uh, 30 minutes uh, is uh, just to give you some basic information on this type of uh, funding opportunities, but uh, uh, above all, uh, give um, and uh, tell you where uh, you can find uh, all the information you need and how you can move on this uh, complex map of uh, EU funding. Uh, to this end, uh, at the bottom uh, of uh, the slides, uh, you will find uh, links uh, and uh, references uh, of, what, uh, of what you see. And uh, in the last slide, uh, you have uh, further links uh, to other sources of, uh, of information. I, I hope you can use it uh, as a useful starting point. Uh, Information is not a problem. <laughs> the problem is not the lack of information, but uh, rather the opposite. So <laughs> uh, that's it. Uh, starting from the budget, uh, we have uh, here the long term budget uh, for the coming uh, seven years, the so called multi annual financial framework that was adopted finally last December. And uh, sadly, this time, uh, together with the uh, next generation EU recovery instrument. Um, this budget uh, reflects uh, the six priorities uh, that the European Commission set out for the future of Europe. Uh, six uh, headings, uh, for six priorities and six uh, um, policy areas of intervention. Um, six headings, uh, um, but uh, that doesn't uh, mean that uh, uh, priorities are not transversal. They are transversal and especially two of them, Digital Europe and Green Deal uh, for Europe. Um, we find Green Deal for climate neutrality uh, of Europe by 2050 all across the budget uh, with a target of at least 30% of the total expenditure for climate actions. Um, but Green Deal will be maybe 
the the topic of the of the next uh, webinar um, this total budget of 1.8 trillion euros uh, frames almost 40 programs uh, 40 funding programs that are different obviously but synergic and uh, we have to say that interconnections and synergies between programs uh, have become even more strategic now in this uh, current uh, programming period than before it's a major goal of this programming period and uh, uh, it's a strategy uh, expected to impact uh, mainly on regional policies and uh, structural funds. Uh, the point is uh, uh, that synergies uh, are essential even when uh, applying for a uh, regional uh, fund. Uh, but uh, let's see where uh, we can find uh, the most resources for mobility projects uh, uh, at the local level uh, of course uh, structural funds namely european regional development uh, development fund under cohesion policy um, especially interreg programs offer great opportunities um, but uh, I strongly suggest to not just focus on these kind of uh, structural funds or even worse uh, on national or regional um, operational programs that stem from, from them simply because uh, you'd miss uh, a lot of opportunities especially within the synergic framework uh, I mentioned. And uh, moreover, uh, it's true that uh, cohesion policy covers most of the budget, you can see it in the chart, but uh, uh, we know that around 65% of resources available for grants, not subsidies, not loans, not uh, uh, guarantees, are for programs in so-called direct management, direct management by European Commission, uh, like uh, Horizon, the most important one, that is under innovation, the, the blue heading, uh, and life uh, under environment. And uh, this is just to mention the two main, uh, the most uh, relevant uh, programs uh, uh, dealing with mobility. Um, that uh, um, we have also other programs and uh, when I say uh, look at the big picture I mean also uh, look at uh, um, programs with no apparent relevance to mobility uh, because they can offer important opportunities as well for your projects. Uh, for example, mobility projects as fields uh, of application for digital solution, and so you look at the Digital Europe, or for training and new competencies under Erasmus+, Plus, and so on. <clears throat> and uh, mm, European Urban Initiative is, is a sort of exception because it's in direct management, uh, uh, even if it's under cohesion policy, later we, we will see. Uh, it's a small project, but quite interesting, I, I think. Okay, before briefly approach uh, these uh, main programs, uh, the question I think is uh, how can we access such impressive resources? And uh, this is how <laughs> I don't stay long on this slide, but uh, the, the the message uh, that I, I, I'd like to pass to you is that uh, uh, you can't get funding without an effort, without an investment. I'm not talking about money, 
but uh, rather about uh, time, attitude, because uh, calls are very competitive, more and more competitive, and it's not uh, enough to have a, a good project, it's not uh, even enough uh, to have uh, an excellent project most, uh, most of the time, so uh, the more you know about the relevant policies, the programs, uh, their interconnections, uh, projects, initiatives, actors, etc., etc., down to the evaluation criteria, the the rules of each program. The most you are a winner. Uh, higher are your chances to get funding because uh, you uh, can prepare uh, better proposals more convincing proposals with better partnerships. And, uh, and th this applies also if you are only a partner or if you work with uh, consultancies or with uh, expert organization like Fondazione Tielle, for example, because uh, uh, your contribution is needed. Uh, your partners need it. Yeah. And uh, moreover, uh, if you are strong, if you are prepared, uh, you can better negotiate budget and activities to allocate to you. So uh, you can maybe get uh, better the project you want, the project you need. Most of all, uh, thanks to, to this kind of approach, and during this project process, you can gain uh, new knowledge, new expertise, you can get in contact with potential partner, maybe useful for other collaborations, maybe you can get inspired. So, uh, in the end, uh, the effort, uh, I think, is, is worth it, even if you don't get the funding. Uh, of course, the, the funding is the, is the major objective, but uh, how to, um, to do it? Uh, uh, how can we get prepared? Now it's uh, it's perfect time to, to start because uh, the programming period is uh, starting now and uh, so you can be ready when the calls open. Uh, many programs are not yet uh, finalized, so it's not possible for us to give you many details about calls or rules. Uh, this is uh, especially for uh, programs uh, in shared management, uh, the national and regional uh, ones. But uh, we can so say that uh, uh, the very starting point uh, is necessarily um, monitoring, monitoring the process of, of the programs uh, of your main interest. In this slide, uh, you can find uh, the, the links, uh, the relevant links uh, to the official web pages uh, where you can find all the information and updating you need now and later, of course. And uh, besides, you can all, um, also find uh, uh, information about uh, info days, matchmaking uh, events, uh, or other initiatives uh, to participate in, uh, to be really ready for calls, possibly with relevant projects uh, and relevant partnerships. Um, just a, a small, no, small uh, remark for Interreg, uh, this is a list of only the uh, programs uh, already agreed, already confirmed for the next period, but the only one involving both Italy and Croatia. There are others, of course, uh, so go and check uh, at uh, Interreg. 
for Central Europe, uh, you can already find uh, a draft version of uh, the program. I suggest to, to have a look at, uh, at that, uh, even if uh, draft, uh, because uh, it, it explains uh, how it works. Uh, first calls uh, for Interreg in general and Central Europe uh, for sure is expected uh, uh, by the end of the year. But uh, I think that the best way to, to learn how a program works and, uh, and how a, pro a program can, can really finance uh, your mobility projects uh, is look at uh, similar projects uh, funded under previous calls and uh, um, uh, in the next slide uh, you you find them here uh, in the next slide I, I'd like to uh, show uh, to you three case studies from three different programs but that funded uh, very similar projects, very similar actions, all demonstrating mobility solutions in real contexts. Um, consider that pilots, demonstrators, living labs, close to market solutions are all essential uh, principles for innovation programs as well as for cooperation program. Uh, um, and uh, this is uh, even more now in this new programming period than before, uh, especially in fields uh, like, uh, like mobility. And this is the reason why uh, I underline uh, public bodies are precious partners, because uh, these projects need your participation. Horizon, the, the programming is uh, more advanced, uh, so we can uh, briefly uh, look into specific uh, coming uh, opportunities. And uh, that's Horizon Europe. This is the structure, the general structure. It is the official picture you can see everywhere, so I will not waste time to describing that. Um, we can go straight to the point. We are here. Uh, we are here um, in cluster five, mainly in cluster five. There are other important opportunities, especially for networking or for knowledge resources that can that come from uh, EIT urban mobility for example there are uh, calls open now <laughs> uh, in may i think the deadline and uh, or other instruments uh, um, namely partnerships between the european commission and member states like jpi urban europe uh, that is about to become uh, GUT that it that is uh, driving urban transition. Uh, at the moment, Croatia is not involved in these partnerships, but uh, I think uh, they can join uh, in the in the next years maybe. Um, to go back to the main part of the program, uh, we have uh, the clusters. And cluster five. Uh, starting point, the starting uh, document here um, is the work program. Uh, the final work program um, of cluster five and of the other clusters uh, will be published, uh, uh, I think, in a few days. And uh, this is the page where you can find uh, the final uh, work program uh, when they'll, they'll be published. Um, the work programs contain all the details about uh, the course uh, that will open in the next uh, two 
years uh, so you can find uh, topics budget uh, the timeline the type of actions uh, required the conditions for participation and uh, all of all, all the information you need to to apply um, today uh, we can look uh, a draft version that fortunately uh, European Commission published in March. It's almost final of, uh, um, of cluster five. This is the, the general structure of a work program. So uh, you have uh, as main chapters, uh, uh, the destinations, the so-called destinations that are uh, the main impacts expected in the areas covered by the cluster, by each specific cluster. For mobility in cluster five, because remind, uh, I'd like to remind that this cluster includes energy also uh, and climate. Uh, for mobility, uh, destinations concerned are, are five and six and uh, that you are, have uh, in, in the slide. Um, under each destination, we find the calls. Uh, here, for example, we can see that under destination six, uh, we find uh, one call for 2021 and two calls for 2022. Uh, in yellow, um, you see the code of the only call for 2021 by now, uh, under destination six. Um, is Horizon, cluster five, 2021, D6, destination six, number one, the only one. Um, back to the, to the general structure, each call is further divided in um, headings corresponding to strategies or theme, themes um, ke, uh, that uh, have been identified by uh, European Commission, by the program, to address uh, the specific impact destination for the cluster. Um, okay. Here, um, the, under, uh, under the headings, uh, under each headings uh, for, for destination six, we have three of them. Uh, we finally find topics, topics uh, that are the very points of interest for the application of uh, uh, project proposals. Um, I chose one topic here, uh, the sixth in uh, destination six uh, uh, under heading uh, uh, for automated um, systems. Um, but you can check uh, the, the full work program uh, through the, the, the link you find in the bottom of the slide uh, to check if any topics fits uh, your objectives. Um, why I chose this topic? That it's not maybe uh, so... Um, so appealing to you. I chose this one because it's a research and innovation action. Uh, research and innovation is a type of action required for this topic. And uh, um, I wanted to, to show you how uh, important is the role or of the final users uh, including local authorities public bodies even in research and innovation action 
um, forgot the deadline applies to any topics under the call. It's October, not so soon. <laughs> Uh, so the role in research and innovation action of public bodies is important too. And uh, research centers, universities, uh, large industries, uh, startups, uh, everyone need local bodies, public bodies as a partner. Uh, the point is just let them know that you are interested and uh, being a proactive partner maybe. <clears throat> when the call opens, you can find uh, all the conditions you found in the work program, but updated, updated in this page. Here you find all the documents, all the tools, and all the information you need uh, to apply, to submit your proposal. Um, this is the funding and tender portals, uh, um, a different page from before when we uh, found the uh, relevant documents, the reference, the document uh, uh, like the, the, the work programs. Um, and here you can search for calls uh, open, um, not only under Horizon, but uh, even uh, under other um, funding programs, not in research and innovation, uh, for example, under LIFE. From, from uh, now on, we, we will find the calls for LIFE here. Uh, Interregno. <laughs> uh, this is the, the the web service only for uh, calls uh, by programs in uh, direct management. So no interreg. Um, I'd move to to case studies now. Uh, here you can find, uh, yes, uh, links to uh, projects funded under previous calls uh, from Horizon. Uh, but the primary source of information with the complete uh, database uh, about funded R and I uh, projects is Cordit. Is called this the dedicated information service of the European uh, Commission for that, and that's it. Uh, I suggest to explore a very large number of funded projects, even to 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 get inspired, and uh, I suggest to pay particular attention uh, when you look at a at a project. Um, to the composition of the consortium. You may also contact uh, the participants in this consortia, um, maybe because they are interesting for future collaborations for you. Um, okay, this is the search page uh, of Cordis. I, I made a, a test. Uh, as an example, I, I made a query using as keywords uh, tourism, uh, sustainable, and mobility. And uh, it returned 80 projects under only Horizon 2020. The first uh, result is about destinations that I think it's a project worth looking at. because it's a project that uh, has implemented the sustainable mobility actions in six uh, um, six European uh, touristic island cities, including two Italian municipalities from Tuscany. And you can see that uh, 
public bodies uh, received uh, direct funding. Uh, here we we have only the Italian participants uh, and a huge uh, funding to to implement uh, intelligent transport uh, solutions uh, for tourists and residents and how. Uh, municipalities collaborating with uh, uh, academic and private stakeholders at the local level, um, besides them internationally, of course. Uh, if you follow the link to this project, uh, you can find uh, Civitas. Uh, Civitas is uh, a very useful uh, source of information uh, is one of the most important uh, initiative for urban mobility in Europe uh, and uh, with many projects, many results and so on. Okay, this is uh, to uh, show that research and innovation can actually finance mobility projects uh, with running solutions in the real context. Now, move on to another program that is not research and innovation it's under the green heading of the budget environment uh, but uh, we can search for similar projects so uh, a word uh, about life life is not uh, uh, the, the new program of new life is not finalized yet and um, uh, we can search for uh, already funded projects because uh, uh, the general, the, the overall structure of the program is the same uh, than the, the previous one. Um, LIFE uh, is the only program fully dedicated to environment and, uh, and climate action. Research is very limited and projects here are close to market by definition. Uh, thankfully, uh, the structure is only slightly different, but uh, uh, the regulation, the rules of participation uh, will be strongly revised. It's a very complex uh, program. Uh, so far. Uh, the goal is simplification and greater integration with other instruments. First of all, with structural funds, uh, because uh, it provides for uh, co-funding, co-programming. It's very important to, um, to, to look at uh, uh, all the programs, synergies, <laughs> like before I said, and uh, major integration, of course, with Horizon, especially uh, about rules and uh, templates and uh, guidelines. Uh, the, uh, we can say that, 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 that Horizon s sets the rule <laughs> for all, uh, is the most important, uh, the, the most powerful program uh, for Europe. And the, the, the new agency in charge of managing life uh, will be, uh, from now, CINEA, that is the same agency uh, in charge of managing class of five. So uh, a, strong synergies, a strong synergy with our uh, topic of today. <coughs> Um, okay, so searching for uh, tourism for, for tourism sustainable and mobility. Um, okay, as I said, the, the final program is not here, but but but, but we can look at uh, these funded projects. And um, we here uh, found uh, um, this one. Uh, 
the, the, the second project uh, um, we have as a result is Silver Coast and uh, uh, is uh, um, a, a very similar project indeed uh, because uh, it addresses uh, a, a touristic site in Tuscany. This is, uh, the, these are only from the uh, last programming period. It's not only for projects, of course. Um, okay, so let's see silver cost and differences with horizon uh, Europe maybe uh, first of all I'd like to say that life uh, um, is slightly is different from horizon because the approach here is bottom up so um, topics are less detailed than than in horizon and so you are free to uh, submit your your project proposals uh, uh, um, if they uh, meet the uh, target environmental uh, objectives set by the program for the thematic priority uh, of uh, of concern of of course uh, so we here uh, can see that uh, um, the budget is uh, lower, the funding rate is lower, and the consortium is more, and the uh, mobility services implemented uh, are in one site only, not in five as before. Uh, however, uh, even in this project, uh, we find municipalities receiving direct funding to implement innovative mobility service. Here, innovation is still important, is still a requirement. Uh, the focus is on environmental impact, but innovation is here uh, as well. And uh, again, we see a strong uh, partnerships, partnership with uh, academic and industrial partners between public bodies implementing the solutions and industrial and academic partners. The last case I'd like to, to show you you is uh, from uh, the small program uh, urban innovation action that uh, i think uh, this program has a very small budget <laughs> uh, especially uh, compared to horizon or even to life but uh, this one is interesting because uh, is aimed specifically at cities it's a dedicated program and uh, uh, is uh, um, urban innovation action that closed in 2020 in 2020 yeah last uh, july the, the the last call um, but the new program uh, european urban initiative uh, will replace uh, this uh, this instrument uh, with uh, a very similar approach. Mm. You can see that uh, we find here the same logic as usual. Uh, innovation, complementary partnerships and piloting of sustainable solutions. Okay, this is the page uh, where you can explore all the projects funded in five calls. Uh, the, past and only five calls of Yuya. Of Yuya. <clears throat> um, in the last call, uh, two projects out of 11 funded was about uh, mobility. This time I chose uh, cargo bikes 
and logistics, urban logistics. Um, this is uh, running in uh, in Brussels. You can see a uh, very important budget for the project. Again, uh, strong partnerships, uh, integration of the value chain, and uh, the most important thing uh, I'd like to, to stress is that uh, um, this project wasn't submitted under urban mobility, but under air quality. So it's not so different from a live project indeed. Um, urban environment, uh, carbon dioxide uh, <laughs> emissions, uh, it's similar. Okay, um, finally I'd like to show you the database, the impressive database of the um, Interreg programs. Any projects um, funded under any programs in the past. Here uh, I used uh, the usual tourism, sustainable, and mobility keywords to for the, for the search and uh, setting the the filters uh, to include only the last programming period and uh, the four uh, programs involving Italy and Croatia only. Um, we find 13 projects uh, with this specific focus touring sustainable mobility. But um, we could search for projects uh, dealing with uh, passenger intermodal transport and sustainable accessibility funding uh, as a result uh, Icarus and uh, with this uh, I'll invite you Eleonora to take back the floor. <laughs> <laughs>